What's going on guys? This is me, Sin. So we just got new support from Amazing Defender. So let's check it out. And obviously before this video starts, make sure you like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch and Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Alright, the first card is a Purelli Lily, level 1 Dark Fairy Effect. 100 attack and defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. And if it's normal or special, you can add any Purelli card from your deck to your hand. How good is th That's broken, except a quick play. And the best cards are quick plays. That's actually so incredibly annoying. Like, this card would have been so much better if this just wasn't a part of the effect. Ah, oh, very disappointing. But anyways, you can target one purely quickly spell in your grave special summon when it sees a monster that mentions it from your extra deck by using this card as the material. And if you do attach that target to the summon monster as ad additional material, this is treated as an Xyz summon. And so obviously this effect is good, but... Man, I don't know, like, th this deck just needs a bit more gas, because this is only, like, the second monster, I think. The majority of the cards are kind of like the quick play spells. So, in a way, this is a little reminiscent uh, runic, in a way, because you're using spell cards to get your monster engine started, and you're not really relying on drawing a bunch of monsters to play the game. It's it's a unique deck, but uh, I'm not ready to say that it's a good deck yet. And this support card is just not good enough. And that's the issue. If the only thing you're giving the deck is just one level one monster, sure, it's decent because again, it searches... I mean, it searches the other monster. All right, I'm gonna give it that. Anyways, the next card is Fury... Uh, Fury? Fury? The Orb Mechanco, level three. Win Psychic! Oh, Emergency Teleport. You can only use a third effect once per turn. And this card is not equipped with any equip card. You, can you take no battle damage from battles involving it. And if it is, it can be destroyed by battle. Uh, but also, your opponent takes any battle damage you would take from battles involving it instead. Not bad. I, I mean, I think all the Mechanco uh, monsters all have that effect or something. Your opponent cannot target Mechanco cards you control with card effects while you control an equip card. Th that's crazy. Like, the fact that it also protects, like, your equip spells, Mechanco's from being, like, targeted by card effects, that's actually really, uh, unique. Anyways, if this card becomes equipped with an equipped card, you can add one Mechanko Trap from your deck to your hand. The issue with the Mechanko Traps is that, from what I remember, they're not really good at, like, interrupting your opponent. I mean, one of them is, but, like, the other one, all he really does is, like, summon a monster from the deck, which is not bad, but it's not really the kind of effect you want on a trap card, rather on a spell card. Obviously, if it's, like, on a spell card, it might be a little too broken, but, you know, this is just... This, this card is definitely not trash, especially the fact that you can summon it off, uh, from your deck with Emergency Teleport, but again, it's also not, like, incredibly amazing. Next up is a Purelli Sleepy Memory, Quick Play Spell. Apply this effect, then you can discard one card. And if you do Special Summon 1 Level 1 Purely Monster from your deck, basically, this effect, the Special Summon 1 Level 1 Purely Monster, you only apply it if you discard a card. And this effect is, like, always free. So once applied, the next battle or effect damage you take, this, uh, this turn becomes zero. I mean, unless you're really using this in time, it's pretty bad. A pure elixir monster that has this card as material gains this effect once per turn. During your opponent's standby, you can draw one card. <laughs> Man, it's just... I guess if you have, like, a bunch of monsters with this card as a material, you can draw, like, three cards on your opponent's standby. But it would have been nice if, again, if it just said, like, during the standby phase. So even on your own standby, so you can, like, consistently generate advantage and just snowball. But it's just not... It's just not good enough again. Like, I just read all those cards and I'm just a little disappointing, but disappointed. But it's not once per turn, just like the other uh, purely quick plays, if I recall correctly. Anyways, the next card is Dance of the Mechanko Fasc Fascinating Bird. You could spell... Oh, alright. You can only use a second, effect of, uh, second and third effect of this card once per turn. So the equipped monster can be destroyed by card effects. When you combine that with the fact that the Mechankos can be destroyed by battle, and that this protects the Mechanko cards from being uh, targeted by card effects, is not too bad at all. And also, if your Mechanko monster battles at the end of the damage step, you can target one card on the field, return it to the hand. Not bad, okay. This card is in your grave, you can target one Mechanko monster in your grave, special summon it, and if you do equip it with this card, also banish that monster when it leaves the field. That is honestly a great effect, wow! <laughs> Congratulations, this is, this is one of the best equipped spells I've read in a while, because, you know, you can actually, like, discard this card and mill it, and actually do something with it, revive back your monster, and then it, it is immediately equipped, and then you can search right away. So this actually gives the deck a little bit more of a grind. This is actually a really good card. I'm a huge fan. And it definitely fixes a, b a bunch of issues that the deck had before. So yeah, this is definitely very appreciated for Mikanko. Uh, this is all red, but whatever. And finally, the, the last card is Reinforce. Now, Rescue Ace is one of the only archetypes here that I've actually... Well, the only one that I've made a video on. So it's the one that I know the most 
but I'm um, still not like super great with it. Anyways, obviously it's always treated as a rescue ace card. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. And then target one rescue ace monster you control until the end of this turn. It gains 1500 attack and defense. Also, it is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. Also, the next time it would be destroyed at battle, it is not destroyed. A bunch of effects, but it's not really great. And then you can banish this card from your grave, then target one rescue ace spell in your grave, set it to your field. So just in case you didn't know, the uh, rescue ace cards are like extremely easy to search. Like very, very easy to search. So that's actually nice that you get to recycle back your cards and kind of just generate them for free. I think the field spell is the card that allows you to get like four set cards in like one shot. Yeah, the, the card literally reads once per turn, you can target four of your rescue ace cards that are banished and or not. Sorry, that's it's not that effect. Uh, it's, it's It should be another card that allows you to do that. Oh, no, it's the big boss monster, huh? Triple Lance? Yeah, no, that card is just insane. You can set up to four Rescue Ace cards, quickly spells, and or normal traps with uh, different names directly from your deck. So this is actually really nasty. Yeah, the Turbulence is broken. It's really, really good. And the fact that you can get this card, which recycles back your spells, uh, potentially, I mean, I think there's like a Searcher. Uh, there's a Monster Reborn. There's obviously, like I said, the Field Spell, which has a Digusto Emerald-esque effect, as well as like an extra Normal Summon. So it's not bad at all, but the first effect is actually not too great. And it also, also only makes your opponents, uh, your monsters unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. Not like by everything, so you can still get like regeki and stuff like that. And you can't uh, actually answer that, which is pretty pathetic. <laughs> but yeah, another trap doesn't necessarily fix the issues with going second. So I don't know if I'm a big fan, but again, like I, I can always appreciate graveyard effects. So that's why I'm not really complaining too much. And like I said, this card is pretty good. This card's all right, whatever. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, this card's pretty good as well. Yeah, the, the mechanical cards are actually very nice. And finally, this card is good, but not good enough. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.